Hey, you're watching Pure Delusion, and my name's Clayton. Today we're checking out two different brands of Mexican pop. Stay tuned. All right, thanks for watching Pure Delusion. Like I said, my name's Clayton. We're gonna review two different brands of pop today that are both products of Mexico. So we've got Cidral Mundé. It says apple soda naturally flavored. If you wanna check it out there. Uh, 90 calories made with real sugar. So, you know, that's the big selling point of getting pop from Mexico. They actually use real sugar cane. While here in the United States, we use corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup. The other one we're gonna be checking out today is Jaritos Grapefruit Flavored Pop. So, I've never had these two brands before, never, never tried these two flavors, so pretty excited to try something different. You know, I always like going outside of my comfort, comfort zone every once in a while. You know, I've been to Mexico twice, so I'm usually impressed with a lot of their products. So I've got my two of my favorite glasses here. Uh, I love history, so we got our Thomas Jefferson glass and our Theodore Roosevelt glass. So we're gonna be using these to taste test. I think we're gonna start out with the apple flavored Cidral Monday. Now, we don't really have traditional pops that taste like apple in the United States typically. Um, luckily, I live in a city where there's a huge Hispanic population, so I have access to this. They sell it at my local Kroger. So, the color, as you can probably see, kind of looks like a, like a light brown, kind of looks like a root beer color. It smells like apple, you know, which makes sense. Let me go ahead and give this a taste. Now, I'm going to rate it on value taste, I'm going to give you an overall rating out of 10. Okay, it's a little different. You can taste the apple, but it tastes kind of like a candy apple. It's very sweet, very sugary. Let me see how much sugar's in this thing. Okay, only 24 grams, so that's less than most pops and less than most juice, actually. But uh, it just tastes kind of off. Let me let me try again. Yeah, it's just not the best pop I've ever had. Um, usually I go with Coke. I like Mountain Dew. I can drink Pepsi. I'm pretty versatile when it comes to uh, pop or soda, you know. So I'm not crazy about this one. This was a dollar. Or it's a liter, one liter, uh, one and a half liter, I'm sorry. And uh, can't say that I would recommend this. Um, it just doesn't taste that great. It, it does taste like apple, and I love apples. Um, big apple fan, been eating apples all my life. But when I think of fruit, I just don't really associate it with pop and sugar and unhealthiness, which is what, you know, pop is. And uh, it just doesn't taste right. Something's kind of off about this. Um, so can't say I'd recommend that. Out of 10, I'd probably give it about a three or a four, probably a four, we'll say four. It's drinkable. If I had to finish it, I would, but I'm really not going to. Tastes pretty gross. All right, we're gonna move on to the Jaritos Grapefruit. All right, let's give this a try. Now this too was also a dollar. Now the, the color of this one is yellowish, kind of like a yellowish clearish color. I was kind of expect, expecting it to look like Mountain Dew, but it's not as green. Um, it's really not as clear as Sprite or 7-Up, so this is, you know, very unique. It smells like grapefruit. So, uh, let's see here. This one is 110 calories, and we have 27 grams of sugar, so 
more sugars in the apple pop. Let's give it a try. It's not bad. It seems like it has a lot more carbonation than this one. That's one thing I got. I guess I didn't. I didn't talk about. There's not a lot of carbonation in here. There's some, so it doesn't really taste like a pop. But we got Haritos. It does taste like a pop because it's really carbonated. And the flavor tastes like grapefruit, which is, you know, not a bad flavor. Let me, let me go back in for some more. The thing I like about this is it's not overwhelming. This flavor was very overwhelming, kind of like a candy apple flavor. The Haritos, you get a nice mixture of the carbonation as well as the, uh, the grapefruit flavor. So out of 10, I would give this one about, I'd say about a seven or an eight. We'll go a seven and a half. Uh, I probably will drink, the, I'll drink this. I'll finish this whole thing off because you know, it's, it's not bad. It tastes pretty good. So if you have some of these at your local grocery stores, you know, or you sometimes there's smaller Hispanic markets out there in big cities, go in, if you're feeling adventurous, Go ahead and try one. But wait, there's more. I got a bonus item that we're gonna try. So it is Christmas season and I recently ordered something off the internet, I think eBay from Russia. And in the packaging, they sent me some Russian chocolate. So I don't speak Russian. It, it might even be, you know, from the Ukraine. Um, uh, the package, I believe it was from Russia. I couldn't read any of it, but it took, you know, a good three weeks to get here. But this is it. Uh, it has a little baby on it. It does look very Russian. Um, you know, it says that it is an award-winning, it has like medals on here on the packaging. So this, this is probably going to be some pretty high quality Russian chocolate. So let me, let me open this up and then we're going to taste test it. So yeah, it just tastes like regular chocolate. Now, you know, if I die after I eat this, you know, you'll know why. So at least I have you guys as proof because hopefully it's not poisoned or contaminated. Um, but yeah, it's got some little designs on it. Uh, it's just, you know, our chocolate here, a lot of the times when you eat a Hershey's, it's kind of segmented. You can break it off in pieces, which this one doesn't really look like you can do that, but that's okay. Um, say it's milk chocolate it's not super dark so let me go ahead and give it a try <laughs> well it's very rich I think it's packed full of sugar um, not super impressed with it to be honest with you but uh, he gave me two. Sorry about that. He gave me two, so <laughs> here's the other one. Um, it's just very rich, very sweet. When I eat Hershey's, they're not as overwhelming as this. So uh, it's very well could be dark chocolate. I just, it, I can't read it. But uh, yeah, so been out of our comfort zone we tried some new things I can make this uh, a new special if you'd like because we have here in Cincinnati we have access to an international market so if you're really into trying foreign products or you know reviews on foreign products feel free to comment below and let me know all right well thanks for watching pure delusion thanks again see you guys